Nine is on your side. Learning more now about the multi-year, multi-million dollar sponsorship deal the city struck with Cincinnati Bell for naming rights to the streetcar. It provides a steady stream of revenue to help cover operating costs. Nine on your side, I-team reporter Hillary Lake discovered a local advertising company also benefits significantly from it. The streetcar isn't rolling in as much dough from this deal as you might think, but the city sees it as a way to keep these cars rolling for years. No matter which side of the streetcar track you fall, it's happening. I think that's a great idea, the connection, and I like the, the, the logo. That logo transforms the Cincinnati streetcar into the Cincinnati Bell Connector for the next decade. At a $3.4 million cost to the telecommunications giant. What they do is give you a longer term revenue stream, if you will, helps to pay for the streetcar operations. But just how much of that $3.4 million will the streetcar actually see in revenue? A contract shows Cincinnati Bell pays another company called Advertising Vehicles. And Metro spokeswoman Sally Hilvers tells me it keeps $400,000 off the top. There are expenses that need to come out of that. For example, the wraps that went on the vehicles and the branding that goes on the shelter. Advertising vehicles also keeps 38% of the remaining $3 million. It will pay the city of Cincinnati the remaining 62% or $1.8 million. So they're doing not only the sales, but they're doing the design in some cases. They're doing um, the production of the vinyl and the ads. That's roughly $200,000 in annual revenue to the city for a decade. It's expected to cost $4 million per year to operate the streetcar. You have a guaranteed stream of revenue for the streetcar for those 10 years. You know how much revenue you'll be bringing in. Kansas City streetcar, by comparison, made that same amount in its first four months from a sponsorship deal with Sprint. The catch is Kansas City isn't using a third party to find sponsorships, but its deals are short term. Because none of us as government organizations really have sales staff to go out and do this. This man has no dog in the streetcar fight. He definitely has an opinion about it. I think it's an incredible waste of money. Dusty Rhodes is Hamilton County's auditor. He tells me he thinks the city got a bum deal. And I've worked in sales. I never got a 38% commission on anything. Rhodes believes someone else should get credit. They're actually the sponsors, the taxpayers, who coughed up just shy of 150 million put it there. And so they don't get credit, but Cincinnati Bell will get the credit. Metro has also sold naming rights to all of the streetcar stops. Advertising and fair revenue will help offset costs. Would you rather get 62% of whatever revenue it is or 100% of nothing? A spokesman for Cincinnati Bell called this deal a win win for both the company and the city when it was announced last month. At the banks, Hillary Lake, nine on your side.